Back in April 2021, Jack and I watched and made a video on the 2020 movie Host. This film was undoubtedly one of the best films we've seen in ages. It captured our interest like no other film had, and we were incredibly curious as to how it was made. Which is why in today's video, we're incredibly lucky to have Emma Louise Webb, who plays Emma in the film, onto our channel to talk to us and tell us how they made the film. So a huge thank you to Emma for coming on and making this video with us. But before we get into the video, feel free to hit us up in the socials, and while you're at it, why not give that like and subscribe button a little. Cheers, and enjoy the video. Hello. 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 Oh my god, you've had your hair cut. You look completely different. Yeah, I've ate or oh, de aged about three years. I look like <laughs> Oh my god. Also, guys, I'm wearing. Oh, look, look at that merch. Look at that. That is actually really cool. That's so cool. Where can we get that? I don't actually know. I, I think they were like limited edition, but um, they gave this to me last night. The most embarrassing thing of my life like, I went to the smoking area to have a cigarette and my lighter broke. And I was asking people, can I use your lighter? And they were like, oh, you're wearing a host t-shirt. Have you seen the movie? I was like, I'm in it. <laughs> you're like, that's me, the, there. <laughs> I, God, I did that and they were like, oh, right. You're wearing the t-shirt. I was like, they just gave it to me. Like, I don't wear this all the time. Like, I'll do that. I'll do it every day. I love your videos though, guys. Like, I really love them. Like, I watched the Midsommar one because I've been too um, nervous to watch it. And so when I watched it, watching you guys watch it, I was like, okay, I can do this. It was so funny to watch your host one. I was literally in bed, like cracking up. I was like, this is the best thing ever. Like, this is so funny. I feel like I have so much like stuff to tell you guys about how we made it and stuff. Most people don't really know like cool stuff about how it was made. That's basically the premise of the video today. So I've got 14 clips of the film. They're not long. It's like 30 seconds. I'm just going to play it. You talk over it. But to make it a little bit more interesting, me and Jack have to guess how it was made. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And then the loser has to do a shot. No way! I can play. Love that. I've oh, got man. water, so that's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one, uh, it's kind of like a general video, just to like jog, well, I say jog your mind, you probably have seen it so many times, just to, like, it's just like a general thing. How did the thing happen? How did you film it? How did it all come together? And then after that, it's going to be specific scenes. Let's do it. I'm excited. So how did you do this? Like, is this real Zoom or is this like, because obviously I did the videos. I'm going to guess like this is just like all your different screens just like made to look like a Zoom screen. Um, It was actually, we did film it over Zoom, but we had these like iPhones. They sent us these iPhones, which we strapped with Velcro behind the laptop to get, just in case the connection cut out or like the, the quality would have been rubbish if we did just use Zoom. So we had these phones behind and they were filming on Filmic Pro. There was a lot more to it than it looked like. It looked like we just switched on Zoom and we just started making a film but like they sent us this big uh box of microphones and stuff as well and we had to figure it out and again a microphone it's not a simple it's not like these ones it's like you've got to put the batteries and you've got bicycle audacity like all of that it was like we had to learn how to do all of it like in like a day <laughs> it was so intense oh, that's pretty cool like so this right now is just an iphone basically yeah just literally felt vel like double-sided velcro on the back of uh, the laptop and then you stick it on and it's filmed with many iPhones and our editor had to imagine the work the editor had to do on it like because it was all improvised as well we had a scriptment so we knew where the scenes would start and we knew where they'd end so we'd have Rob on the zoom call like hidden away and he'd pop up every now and again like angry I do it angry I say this <laughs> but, other, but other than that all of the dialogue was essentially just improv that and so cool. every take was so different so the poor editor had to like sift through hours and hours and hours of us just waffling about Teddy's girlfriend and Red Ted astral planes and yeah all of that so happy spookies isn't actually a thing yeah happy happy spookies oh my god I right so when when that started yeah um Jed one of the executive producers sent me a message like you say this really cool thing like happy spookies and I was like I've never said that in my life I was like I didn't say that and then he was like yeah you did he sent me the clip of it I was like oh I did say that we just like going on and on and on. So we just, random stuff was happening. And you know the bit where Hayley sneezes? <laughs> like that was just, she just sneezed. Like, oh yeah, and you all yeah. start laughing. That did seem really organic to be honest, thinking of it. It is. It did come across, you know, quite organic with it. What's the releasing for that? Because it come out during COVID, because you know there was a period where cinemas were open for a bit, weren't they? And then they closed. Did it come out in that period or is it exclusive? We got so lucky, right? It was like December. I think the cinemas opened December the 1st and our run was December the 4th. Oh. Yeah, and then it came out in like Hong Kong 
uh, in January. It's just come out in South Korea. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram. Yeah, you put that. That's nuts, isn't it? So it just keeps coming out. And then it came out in like Latin, Latin America, Netflix. And then I, my Instagram just went ridiculous. Like. <laughs> I was going to say, as soon as it came out, was it just like everyone's socials just went whoop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like overnight. Like, And it's crazy as well. Like some of the people that have watched it, like the, the, like the craziest people. And you're just like, what? Like Jason Isaac saw it three times. Really? Malfoy's dad. Yeah, yeah. So who is like idea was it? Obviously Rob's, but um I've seen the thing where you're all on a Zoom call originally. And oh then... my god, did you see the prank? Yeah, I've seen that. Have you seen that, Jack? No. It's funny, yeah, like that was it wasn't really supposed to even be a film. It was like the prank happened and then it got like millions of views on Lad Bible. And then everyone was reaching out because no one was making any films, like no one was making anything. It was right at the start. And it only took twelve weeks from the idea to making the film to it coming out which is like... That's nuts. I know. Yeah. Normally it's like a year, isn't it? Or like a lot of like... Five years. Yeah, it can take a while. From like the first text message, like let's do a Zoom seance film to it coming out on Shudder was 12 weeks. Jesus. Like, and all of the effects and stuff in there, like the performances, the editing. I don't know how they did it. Like, <laughs> I don't That's know. That's why we gave the editor our, uh, our award for best person of the film. No offence, but you know what I mean. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely nailed it like nobody slept like, I was talking to Rob last night he was like me and Doug the producer just didn't sleep for like two months so clear so now we can start guessing this is where the, this is where the fun begins as uh, Anakin Skywalker says this is where the fun begins you're never gonna get half of this stuff I can tell you that now you guys are gonna get really drunk well well you probably me <laughs> if you know I didn't know how the film ended really until I watched it yeah I didn't yeah they like it was just like a thing of if you're not in the scene you don't need to know they kept everything from us it was like you're, you're, it's like you're dead in film now. You can't watch the rest of it. Is that how it worked? Like, just <laughs> cut you straight off. So this uh, this is Haley's chair drag, which Ooh. has kind of been spoiled a bit in the comments of our video, but mm. I don't know if Jack is... Oh, right. yeah. No, I've seen that. Uh, have yeah. fun. Uh, you you could have taken it seriously like, like I asked you to. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. Like, we're going to have a nice night. Why do we have to have a nice night, guys? You know what, Jack? Nobody... She gets absolutely clattered into that wall. <laughs> I tell you what, Haley had bruises from this shoot. I'm not surprised. The second one is even worse. Jack, what's your guess? So it's her boyfriend, isn't it? <laughs> Pulling her, yep. <laughs> what the hell you knew that bit? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so good. I could I could see him. That's how good yeah. I am. Like, I've got like, x-ray vision. Damn it. This was the thing, right? When we started the film, literally, Rob was just like, go around your houses and find interesting things. Like, find things that are going to just weird stuff. And they had this bag of ropes. And um, so before we actually had like the scriptment or anything, he was just like play around with stuff in your house. And Haley and Kieron, so Haley's boyfriend, they literally just filmed that stunt and showed Rob and he was like, we're using that in the film. So they came up with that idea. And then he was like in this black suit, I think, or something. And he had the ropes on the chair and like pulled the chair and she was on the chair. That is brilliant. That is. So he's, did he get a credit or is he? I think he is credited, yeah. Did he make that back? Go on, Kieran. <laughs> I think he must have done, yeah, because mm. he, he really helped out in the film. But he's a DOP as well. Like, we, we were all kind of, like, actors or writers, directors. Everyone was in that kind of world. So it was kind of like everyone had skills that they could bring to it. Did you all film in your own houses? Like, I'm gonna, obviously, you did because you're there now. So, like, there's, you have to tell your, like, your family members to just, like, can you... Oh, know? my God. That was that was a stressful thing. So, yeah, it was it was all in our own houses, right? And then... That, as you know, there's a lot of me screaming in this film. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, Mom, you have to stay downstairs and do interactive. And I'd be like, jumping ah, 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 <laughs> on the floor and stuff. And like, she'd just be downstairs and I'd come down for lunch. And she'd be like, you're right now, it's not really good. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm really tired now. And we had to like, um, we had to, every single time we, we were shooting, we had to get these bin bags and tape them up to the windows every day. And we had a heat wave. It was like right on a heat wave and I'm wearing these bunny slippers that by the end were just soaked and like <laughs> I was blackening up all the, the windows and it was just, it was a lot. It was hot and dark and I was sitting in my room screaming and uh, all my neighbours were just out in the street like having a party and there was me just like a weird neighbour with like bin bags in the windows screaming. <laughs> I wonder they thought when you had to jump out the window. 
I'm, I'm going to presume that's not you, but don't worry. We'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming that's never, not you. <laughs> like, Emma, we need you to jump off the roof. Yeah. This is for the film, please. <laughs> right into that table, please. Oh, God. Oh, my God. But I had another funny story, which I think I always forget to tell people, right? So the crying bits, I didn't have a tear stick. The other actors had tear sticks, right? And we would film in a film. So it's like constant, like maybe three long days of just crying, right? There's only so many times it will come out on its own. Um, and Rob was like, I couldn't get the tears to come out anymore. I was like, I was like doing this, like, I can't cry anymore. And Rob was like, right, get an onion, get an onion. I was, gonna say. I was like, what? He was like, go carp an onion and like fucking, excuse me. Um, he was like, put it in your eyes. You can swear, by the way, we're very informal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Uh, thanks for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there was this onion and we were filming in my room and I forgot about the onion and I woke up and the onion was like in my bed oh. and I had onion in my eyes and it was just filthy. Like it, the whole film was broken. In my bedroom, it was just a lot. So we used real onions. It was very homemade, very DIY. So uh, I'm going to give me a jack a point for that because we can't even read the comments and the, yep. it was the boyfriend. So the next one's Caroline's Attic. Oh God, no. This is the scariest scene in the film for me, I think. Things there. What was that, Jack? So that was that was someone doing a pull up uh, or on something like hanging, and their feet just hanging there. That I think that's so... I think that's someone. I think that's someone's feet. You think that's a real person? I think so. I think it's just like a. Do you know, do you know those weird like alien f- things? Those like. M- do you know the ones I mean? It's like, Jack, that's your legs. Because you it doesn't do leg day, that's your legs. Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, yeah, okay, that's my guess. It's, an, it's a jelly alien and Jack thinks it's a person doing pull-ups. I will say, pour yourself a drink. Because you're wrong. Both yeah. of us? Yeah. Oh. No. That, I believe, right, I'm not 100 on this, but I do think, I know it's not a jelly alien, and I know it's not someone doing that either. That, I think, was uh, uh, SFX. Oh. oh not actually someone there but a lot of people online were saying that they thought it was caroline's dad i was gonna ask does caroline's dad survive well i guess it's up to interpretation i i don't think he did i though. think he's the ghost to be honest yeah mm, yeah i think he died because why wouldn't he come to hell would you slam in her head he was already gone Do you know there's another funny story about this right when we were fi- when we filmed that bit that bit was pre-recorded and um it was we were filming over zoom and they sh- literally did exactly what you just did and like shared the screen and we were re- we, rob was like okay there's something you're gonna have to react to it just watch it i just want to see your reactions right and we were filming it and we we're filming it and we sat there like this like caroline caroline and it was so dark we didn't see the legs <laughs> the rob, was, rob was like what guys what are you doing like no one does. And like halfway through someone was like oh what's that but there was just like nothing on the screen so number four is emma's wine glass oh okay Stop taking a piss. That actually made me jump a little bit then. I love that bit. And the funny thing is, I had to do it like, um, oh my God, it's so my face. So what we did, um, oh wait, no, oh wait, you have to guess, you have to guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, no, I think I know, I know how you should have done that. Okay, can I say mine then? Because I have no idea. My my, I think it's like a copper wire that's like wrapped around and heated up to make the glass like expand, and then you just breeze out there for ages waiting for it to explode. Nah, I, I know this technique. What this is? But I'm gonna sound stupid if I don't now. So that's like sugar cane, sort of. You get you know like glass bottles. You have any stenders and they pop them over the head. Someone's thrown something at that, or I don't think it's that technical, Sorry. like that complicated, like the hot is wire. It a heated I think copper wire, or <laughs> some, that something smashed that or hit that. Okay, okay. I'll give you, Jack, I'll give you half a point. It was sugar glass. And you know what? It was so hot. Like I said, it was in a heat wave, right? And I had to get them out of this box. They sent me like 12. And like, I picked them up and my hands were so warm. They were like melting in my hand. Like, <laughs> the glass was crazy. Um, it wasn't uh, someone throwing something. We actually shot it in two parts. So we shot the glass exploding. And then we shot me reacting to nothing. Oh. So Rob would be like, he'd be on the Zoom and be like, bang! And I'd be like, ah! <laughs> So we'd have to we had to do it in two parts. But what I used was a BB gun. Oh no, I was gonna say something like that or an air rifle. No. Yeah, and it that was, is cool. It was so funny. There's a I, I don't know if you've been on my you should go on my YouTube channel actually. I 
<laughs> my one video is me shooting that bit and I film myself and I had to wear our producer was so careful he was like wear protective sunglasses and I had these like one pound Primark aviators on. and then Rob was like glass the la vista baby <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing we had to do it like 12 15 times and there's there's still uh bb pellets on my on my carpet and I had to put the I had to put like um my duvet up against my wardrobe so that they wouldn't ping back and like hit me in the face there's so much that went into this <laughs> I, I found it but you look like john lennon's about to go on a drive-by shooting did you say that like john lennon <laughs> this is john lennon that's going to drive by oh my god you can see as well the setup there love look at this editing you can see the setup. i had boxes like cheese crackers uh and, and like a little coaster it was just such a i don't it was such a mess <laughs> i thought we had to make it work because the glass had to be in the exact same position every single time so that's me pressing record on Filmic Pro. You better not be that close and you missed 12 times. I'm going to judge you with that. <laughs> oh, no, you are. Oh, oh. I don't think so. I think this is... Um, we were trying to figure out where was best to shoot it, like to get it to actually explode instead of it just like... We didn't want that. We wanted it to like... Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, mate. That's the Levisa, baby. Like, what? That looks real. That looks real. Look at that. See, I can see you're an action film now. Mm -hmm. Right. This is like your portfolio now, isn't it? Mm. Like that. Weapons handling. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way the quality is so bad. You can see how dark my room was as well. So it was just like, yeah. It does look a bit like a snuff film now that you've pulled the gun out. <laughs> But that, yeah, that is essentially what we did. I had to just do it again and again. So this is Emma's Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. So go on, Jack. How did they do that? SFX, like what she said, I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's, well, that's probably the best I can say, special effects. It's just like a picture just put on the thing and mapped to a specific object. Copy my answers, right? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, I'm eating a biscuit. But yeah, it was. <laughs> it was that, yeah. Um, and also, another fact, that wasn't my kitchen. That's Rob's house. How is it? So in the film, my house is made up of five people's houses in total. Really? Mm. And that's Rob's hand. Oh, so that's not you? No, 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 that bit oh. isn't me. He went to me, um, Emma, can you send me a picture of your hands? Like, are you wearing nails? And I showed like the short and stuff with nails. He was like, perfect. <laughs> that continuity though, at least he did yeah. that. You know, some people just be like, ah, who cares? It's like, Rob, you don't have to do your hair as well. I'm not seeing you. He's like, no. <laughs> he was wearing a costume. There's so many funny pictures. There's a picture of Teddy wearing the costume with like his hair and ponytails. And there's one of Rob as well. I think we should go as uh, Emma to uh, the next convention. Yes, that'd be funny. Oh, I, I got rid of my hair though. I cut it all off. I could have had the proper pigtails. <laughs> but then I did the ADR and I nearly fainted doing the ADR because I was like... <laughs> and it's gone, come on. <laughs> How did they do that? Strings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you, you're going to answer the next few because you're just going to okay. copy me because I'm the film genius. Well, what else did we say? He used the force. Yeah. Come on, Emma, what is it? Oh, sorry. I'm just saying, you like, <laughs> using the force. Having a lunch. <laughs> that was fishing wire. And again, on the first day, he just literally sent us all. Oh, look, there's a bit here. Oh, my God. There's a bit in my mum's room. Um, it's still everywhere. <laughs> um, he sent us this fishing wire, um, you know, like the clear stuff. And then to, like open doors, you just like tie it around the handle. And so he would be filming and then go like that. Who pulled it? it was him pulling the doors as well. Mm -hmm. It was literally alone in this house. <laughs> This is the one I think is the most impressive. All right, let's hear yours because uh, I know how you do that. Either special effects or you've got to choose one. I think he's he's got one shot of the flowery floor, and then he's done it again with his footprints, and he's almost like copied and pasted it as it's moving along. Yeah, that's what that's I think what it is. Is it? Yeah, honestly, it is. Like stop, almost like a stop motion thing, so to say, you know. And then well, like, it's two layers, and he's pulling back yeah. one layer to reveal each footprint. So, as far as I'm aware. That's Steve on the SFX, just like putting them in. Oh, that is really good. I think we might have fingered our MVP here, Will. There's a yeah, lot no, of that's... SFX effects that are really good. Really? I don't know how he did all the effects, because like I think by the time it was edited and then they had the time to do the SFX, they had like a week. 
and like they had so many. Well done, Steve. Well done, Steve. <laughs> is that you? Or is that wrong? Yeah. Okay. Is that you? Yeah, I think that's her. Got another fact. This bit here, where it pans up to the light exploding, that's pan into a different house. Oh, that's cool. So this is cutting to me, cutting back to Rob's house, and then cut into when it goes up to the light and it explodes. I don't know if that's in there. That's another person's house, and then it's back to me. No, sorry, that's Annie. That's the that's the stunt house. And if you look at the doors, you'll see that it looks nothing like my uh, hallway. Yeah, my door was uh, open and the lights weren't on, I think. But that's another reason. They, they literally went through the stunt house. There was a bunch of stunt people living in the same house and they matched up. I know. They just smash through the doors to walk in and just <laughs> jump out the top window. On fire, the rolling about, having done breakfast. That's just all they do. No, but um, like they would go around all of our houses. Rob asked us to do like a video tour of our houses to match up what bits looked like their houses so that they could like arrange the stunts like that. We would get what bit. That's really cool. I'll give you a point for that as well, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> You're on four and a half. I'm on four. So now this one's quite a hard one, actually, I think. Radina's boyfriend. got two and i'm gonna be so annoyed if one of them's wrong the other one's right uh, do you want me to go first or do you yeah you first? go first yeah um i think kim fall so this bit here i think it's like an image like a picture that's just been com composited if that makes sense for each frame yeah i either thought it was yeah, that same. no no i either thought it was that or i thought it was somehow someone fell but and then like, they had a stunt map at the bottom and then they switched out because it cut straight away and then he's there on the floor Practicality wise, I don't think so. Yeah, I've, I, I think it was edited in. Jack, you were right. No. They had a stunt guy up in the ceiling, Nathaniel. You have to hold it and then you go one, two, three, drop, and you smash it to the to the map. That is nuts. Mm. Also, did you see the scene? It's like just before this, and no one ever sees it. It's like it was the most expensive shot in the film when Redina's looking for Alan, just before then, you see a pair of legs go up in the air? Yes, and I mentioned that to Will and he didn't see it in the video. I really? went, oh, oh yeah, I, I sit in the, it's in the video we put out as well, Will. I go like, did you see that? And then you're just like, what? Like, you're not even like the And I'm like, I thought it was you the, see um, the Because of smoke, isn't the smoke got going off? And then... No, it's, it's you see the let, you see his feet go up. You see it, it's, it's like a split second. And that was the most expensive shot in the whole film. And no one ever sees it. So number seven, Jack is winning now. I'm quite a lot. Let's not even count anymore. You're going to be doing the shots. Oh, I'll probably do it anyway. Yeah, but Will, like you, you did say like a jelly alien. Well, next one is uh, Caroline's typos. Uh, trying to jump because it literally just kicks off straight away. Oh no, oh. please. I beg. some good prosthetics there I like that pretty easy that's the background that i reckon she made on zoom and then um just smashing her head against the laptop but there's like a cushion there obviously not even the laptop i think it's just the camera on the wall with a cushion in front of her because you can't smash the laptop because that would hurt so she another quick question with this emma that's mine as well but the special so she had to have work done on her face obviously so who was doing that that was all her she did that herself she had a like a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with, um, I forget his name, I think his name is Dan. He's like a specialist and he sent her all the stuff and said, place them, place the thing here. She'd do a couple and then she'd blood up and then she'd do a couple more and then she'd blood up again um, and to, to get this. And I think she, I think this is amazing because I, I actually thought someone was like pushing her down, but she's literally just like smacking her head down. Yeah, that's so good. It, I, it's so, and like we this reaction as well we didn't know what was going to happen Rob was like okay you're going to watch something pre-recorded so we'd be like something's going to happen but then I was like what the fuck is this like it's actually quite terrifying I bet but yeah she, I think she absolutely nailed that and yeah that's, that's nuts she done it herself that is really impressive people were able to do different creative things because actors usually you have such a small window of creativity it's like you have your part and then you, you come in with your ideas and then even the director's going to change that and yet it's going to change what yeah you know but it's like on this we were able to come up with dialogue we were able to do this stuff we were able to do the glass stuff like 
it, it was such a unique experience and we get to show what else we can do you know yeah you can update your resume now when she literally <laughs> you could do that couldn't she she could say that she's good with, she could do actually do her own prosthetics mm -hmm. and stuff now gun handling as well for you now it's a load of pistol i was actually so terrified of that <laughs> i didn't want it in my hand but yeah it was, it was good fun and I, I, I think she smashed that yeah, it's one of my favourite scenes in the whole film, I think, that bit. I think number eight, we're probably going to guess, because it's the same as number two, it's Hayley being dragged along the floor. Although, I just kind of want to watch it because she gets absolutely smashed against the wall. <laughs> so yeah, it's the boyfriend again. Look at this. Right against the wall. Oh, that's the bruising you talked about then, obviously. Yeah. Um, that was, because um, we had the stunt coordinator <clears throat> called Nathaniel, and he was like, guiding us through everything and this one I believe she wasn't supposed to hit the door like that but she did but it looked obviously the best that's the one they used I bet that hurt yeah that was that was the boyfriend and the ropes and, and all of that but she had like uh all the protective stuff on as well so she wasn't just doing that oh that's good yeah like she had stuff on I don't know the technical terms but because yeah that's right against the hip yeah. Oh, that does get worse watching it. You start under that. Feel that actually. Now you said that, yeah. like, I feel it like on your side. Mm. So uh, I'm taking a point for that. <laughs> you can have one as well, Jack. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What one's this? Uh, Is this tiptoe through the tulips, man? Right. Sounds coming on for this one. Salem was an interesting I love it. Uh, he just does look like. Have you seen a city as well? I don't think I have. I've, I've, I've... Oh, I don't want to say it. He just looks like a bit. If he was red, he looks like the demon from that. I know what that looks like. It looks like Darth Maul, the demon. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, but so yeah, it's a guy in a costume. <laughs> I think yeah. I think that's the second. The second. Do you know what? I agree. I think that as well. The first one looks like it's SFX a little bit, but that that's bit there. Yeah, I know it did look a little bit, but yeah, it's someone dressed up in full makeup yeah look at that crying <laughs> this one the second one got me so bad because you obviously have the first one you're like oh yeah that's it and then it's like literally like 20 seconds later that just happens just poor, poor uh, teddy he wasn't even part of it i know and, and then he has to come in like that he did take the piss though he did at the start but i got some tea oh, oh god it was a man it was a man in a in a dress and this isn't Teddy. This isn't Teddy's house. This is like, this was the stunt. Or sorry, the, this was the... The stunt um, house. Uh, James Swanton's house. So James Swanton was the demon. And he plays like all of Rob's demons, which is great. He's like... Really, okay. Really. Um, but yeah, so this is actually not Teddy doing that bit. But um, yeah. And is that Rob there on the floor? I don't know who that is actually, but it's... Uh, I know that it's not Teddy because the bit with the demons is in the demon guy's house. If you just had more snot coming out your nose, that would literally just be Blair Witch. You, you know, know what? Just... The, the SFX guy said he he edited snot away from us because there was too much. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, no, he actually, I think he actually meant that as well. But um, I'd never seen Blair Witch before, post, and Rob said he gave it to me as homework. He said this needs to be. Oh, a... see, it's the only horror film see? I've ever bought I on DVD. Oh my god! Another thing, Rob is a sicko and would just have these scenes like lined up for us. Like the scariest scenes from all the scariest films ever before we'd start a take. And he'd be like, I need you to get serious, get serious. Everybody watch this. And like they'd get worse and worse and worse as the scare. That's scenes. amazing. And to the point where Gemma was like feeling sick and she was like, just over, like, yeah, I'm watching it, I'm watching it. And like, not looking. Cool. I, I already love Rob. That's literally like the kind of videos I fall to sleep to. What kind of videos were they? Can you um, remember any of them? Is it Tomahawk? Oh, Bone Tomahawk. Yeah. yeah he's sitting like... up. <laughs> No, what the hell? Like, you, you've seen that, Jack, haven't you? No, that's I haven't seen, seen that. Oh, no. It's disgusting. They should have showed them that, Will, shouldn't they? Terrifier. You know, the, oh, split, the woman getting cut Terrifier? in half. You've seen Terrifier. That's just like a fun film just to watch. It's like, yeah, we interviewed the guy who plays the clown, and there's a scene where he just gets a, he gets a, he does a bone tomahawk on the girl with a saw. So he's just going like that. Cutting through, yeah. all the way through. And it's all like falling out, and it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's really bad. This is the most like normal stunt, I think. Jenny. Oh, oh, Jenny, Jenny. 
<laughs> oh, he's... I'm pretty sure she's a stunt woman because I googled her. I'm pretty sure that's a crane, isn't it? So they got them up on a crane and then they do that thing. You know, in, in films where people get hung, it's actually a thing that slips around the back, you know, so it makes it look like... I know it doesn't look like she's actually hanging, but they use it for films, you know, when people get hung and it's just the thing on the back. It makes it look like it. But yeah, I think she's craned up like that and then dropped in. I think this is at the stunt house and there's a pool uh, and uh, there's two guys just like yanking her on a rope and she goes flying up and then they just cut it and then she falls. Yeah, I will say that I feel like you copied Jack's answer, but... Well, actually, no, because Jack said crane, I said people. No, nah, still. Uh, well, it was a crane. Was oh. oh, this is he's not getting points for that, see? Mm. Oh, and actually, it was at Teddy's house. Ted, that that was like a Teddy has a massive house. Party at Teddy's house. Oh, you know what? He's not on the he's not on the t shirt. It's a bit sad. I'm gonna do a supercar post. Just Teddy. This is Teddy the fire. I've got biscuits on me. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Teddy on fire. Right. So do I, I get the point then? You don't. No. Um, yeah. I'm 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 drinking tonight. I think Teddy actually gets set on fire here. Yeah, yeah, I think he's on fire. Is it? I don't know if it's him or a stunt person. That's the only thing. That's him though. No, is it? What? Yeah, it's him in a fire suit, I think. And then, yeah. And it's like wax or whatever it is. That like wax that burns but doesn't burn your skin. Or it's a, yeah. a, a mask. No, he might even just have a mask on. They could have made it like a mock thing of his face maybe and just... Okay, yeah. So I think that's Teddy actually getting set on fire and it's like some gelatin. That is Teddy getting set on fire. Teddy just picked for this part and picked to be in the film because he could set himself on fire because when they sat down, they were like, we want to set someone on fire. And so then they asked around, who knows someone who can get set on fire? And then we had Teddy. Um, so that's how we got cast in the film. And yeah, he got covered in that gel, um, that freezing cold gel. And the behind the scenes of this is terrifying because he's on fire for like 15 seconds. And you can see Rob and Doug on the Zoom call, like very stressed out watching. Oh, like, yeah. Like, um, and they're like, 10, 9, 8, ow, 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 ow. And I have to like get in with the extinguisher. And he's like, he's just, they're, they're like, move your leg if you're okay, Teddy. And he's just like, does that was <laughs> But yeah, that bit was like pre recorded. And then I. That is crazy. You just never know with stunts. You can be in the safest hands. You can do everything right. And sometimes things go wrong. Yeah. So, terrible. Fair play, Teddy. That's nuts. Yeah. Done, Come Teddy. on, Teddy. Bring him back for host two. <laughs> Starring me and Jack and Teddy. There we go. <laughs> we just got to bring everyone back. They're dead, and it's just us there, like trying to act like really good. Host two should start with you reviewing host. Oh, that should be great. Host two. We need a fourth. So we've got me, Jack, Teddy, and then oh, we need two more guys. Um, Daniel Radcliffe and Elijah Wood. There we go. What a great set of people there. That's like the new Avengers, you know, like the new Marvel <laughs> cast. Like that is the ultimate one. The host cinematic universe. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, so here is your death. That sounded a bit weird. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it's funny that death. That bit with the towel going over the head, that was scary. That is weird. And then, yeah, the jump. How do you think? I, I can't work out how you did this bit. Because so, go on. I think go I know. Um, the towel, when it gets thrown as well, doesn't look, that looks like SFX as well. That looks, that whole bit. Looks, if you watch it in the mirror, it it looks strange the way it's edited in. Like, you can tell, like, I think. I think that's, and then that, I reckon, is a, I don't think someone's jumped off that. I think that's a body, actual, like a, you know, you can get the plump sort of like body, like fake bodies, and that's been thrown off. I hope it's a fake body. Um, no, you do have some, that. some people will do ridiculous stuff like that, but that's what my theory is. I have a feeling with this, this is a reverse shot. So that was like that. And then you pulled it for it to go back to you. Yeah. And, and then, then what about the jump? Uh, that's the back of this. We're back in the stunt crib. And that's the fence for their chair. And someone just threw something in there, like a mannequin with bunny slippers on. No, both of those are really interesting, by the way. Um, I have a mannequin in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Me falling out, that was that was a stunt double. And she mm -hmm. did get lifted in the air and smacked into a bench. Oh. This bit, there's a mannequin. And I'd have to, I did this one bit about 150 times um, because we just, I could not get that blanket to land 
on the mannequin like smooth like that you'd think that would be so simple you think that would be the easiest thing in the whole film but it would bunch up or like and i had to not jog the like tripod and it was just a lot <laughs> but yeah there was a mannequin so i'd have to open the door put the mannequin there shut the door throw the thing run to the window and then that's cool where is it I think it's edited. You have to. That must be really good editing. The way it lands, and then I think they might edit it. If you look here, there's nothing there. But then when you do that, see the heads in front of it. That is cool. that is really well done. It is. That's what. That's one of my favorite bits. I just can't. I could generally couldn't figure out how to do it. That's why I think it's reversed. I think it's much easier to have like a plate there attached to the ceiling. That would have fit. That would have me so much time. <laughs> <laughs> this is your room. That is my room. It's yeah. right there. And do you know what's embarrassing as well? Like. That thing, I got that from a garden centre. I was going to say, nice dreams poster of her. I just, I just forgot to take it down. Like, it's just embarrassing. Someone said to me, actually, like, what does it say? Is it like a cryptic message? I was like, no, it's from the garden centre. It says follow the thing. Like, <laughs> it's someone, I think it was like some random person on the other side of the world was like, please just tell me what it says on that sign. Like, they asked me like five times. I was like, it's nothing. <laughs> it's not. It says not dreams. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So the next one is... Uh... Gemma gets glassed. Oh, I love this bit. Mm -hmm. I just love that noise. <laughs> Come on, Will, how did that happen? Uh, well, originally I thought it was her, someone pulling the string and hitting her. Oh, just smashed my mic. But um, when I was making this small thing, I noticed a weird little, like, as she falls, she kind of like falls through the sofa. So I kind of think she's been superimposed. They didn't hit around the face of the bottle. All right, I think it's just SFX and then she falls. I think that's edited in that bottle flying. You're both, you're both wrong. Oh, Gosh. no. It's Nathaniel, the stunt guy, and he's sat there, crawled up like this, and he's like, three, two, one. And he, like, smashes her over the head with the bottle. Really? <laughs> she accidentally, like, hadn't moved her head enough, so it actually caught her a bit on the face Ooh. on that. I was um, going to say, it does, yeah. That... And then they just edited him out. They edited him out? Yeah. Jesus, the editing in this is unreal. Yeah. Especially, like, as you said, it's not like a massive like budget film. Right now for the finale, um, it's kind of the same as uh, number nine, Teddy and the Demon, but and I, I deliberately left in a bit of a build-up. Oh, no. Full volume, we're going for it. This is going to be really loud, by the way, so. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! It's so good because this this part here looks like CG, and that's makeup. That scared me. Then that honestly did. <laughs> yeah, that fritted the life out of me. You scared me. <laughs> that's what it's like watching films with Jack. Do you know what? Yeah, like I said, I didn't um, I didn't know how the film ended, so I was filming me and my mum watch the end, and my mum started laughing, like hysterically laughing, and I was like, "Mum, this isn't funny." <laughs> I like screamed, and I was like, "How did that make you laugh?" The first time you watched it, something wrong with you. We were in silence for a good, like, 15 minutes. Because that video just ends and we're just sitting there like, well, that's that. And the final tally is... Wait, who won? I'm I'm guessing it wasn't you, Will. No, it wasn't me. Okay. Uh, I always win. I always go into these things so confident, like just everything in life. And then I always lose. <laughs> I want to hear you say it. Come on, 2-1, Will. At the end of the day, the real winner is the friends we made <laughs> along the way. Um, yeah, well, anyway, I guess. Yeah, I lost by like three points. Jack got, oh, this is really warm. 11 and a half and I got eight. So, yeah. Oh, uh, do you know what, though? You did guess, you guys, yeah. I mean, you, you kind of knew, like, what was what was cracking, you know? So, Will uh, doesn't watch as many films, especially horror films as me, so I'll give him, he did try. Yeah, I did try. Yeah, I'm on music. Let's, let's do Guess the Song next and I'll, I'll win that. I love that you guys love this film. It made me so happy. Happy spookies. Happy, happy. I thought it was the whole thing. I thought you had to do the whole thing. Oh, down in that. I'm, <laughs> I wake up in the park again. I can feel, oh, I can feel the heat coming from it. I left it by the window. Right, here we go. Is that tasty? But yeah, that was great. Thank you for doing that, Emma. Yeah, guys, thank you for having me. I'm so sorry that I've been this today. No, it's fine. It went. Oh, but honestly, thank you so much, guys. I'm so sorry that I'm in the dark. Oh, thank you for these doing are, it. Like I said, these are our favourites to do. Like, they are so much fun. And it's amazing that we even get to do it. Like, like Jack, when you saw when we saw Host, did you think this would happen? No. Nah. 
Well there you have it everybody, that's how Host was made. And again a huge thank you to Emma for coming on, and if you're a fan of hers, why not subscribe to this channel because she may or may not be back on one day. And thank you guys for watching as well, we had a lot of fun making this video and we hope you liked it. Cheerio.